Welcome back. Uh, we got an 81 Corvette here today that doesn't want to idle very good. As soon as you put it in drive, it's an automatic car. It'll kind of stall out of the light. This is a friend of mine's car. I've never worked on it before. So now you just got to start over from uh, scratch and just check all the basic things first. He said it was running good up until about a month ago and then it started running crappy. So start investigating. Let's drop it into gear. And that's what we're doing. Same thing. You gotta start looking for vacuum leaks. I pulled off the distributor cap and found a lot of oily residue on the rotor and even some in the cap. So I already wiped it out, but I'm gonna get some brake cleaner and clean this out, blow it all off, clean up the rotor and wipe out some of the residue on the bottom of there too. We have gotta keep an eye on that to see what's going on with that. The distributor shaft might be a little bit worn, but this motor really doesn't have a lot of miles on it. But we'll see. Let's do that first and check a bunch of other stuff. Okay, the cap's back on. We're gonna try uh, running it again. One of the other things he was saying is his heater vents aren't working well. So those are all vacuum operated, so. There's something that's supposed to be connected. And there's another one over here that broke off when I was moving the distributor cap around. Where is this one here? Oh. Gotta trace those back and see where they're supposed to go because they ain't hooked up. They ain't gonna do anything inside. So, other problems. Let's see how it runs now. Wiggling some wires around with the uh, car running. It stalled out because we have a connector that is completely bare that grounded out onto the wiper motor. Was that the issue? Mm, we're getting warmer. We gotta cover this up. I don't know why someone did that, but we'll address this and look for other things. Those fans are noisy. about the best I'm gonna get it for now keep finding more stuff we got a leaky uh, heater always over here let it cool off and I will uh, tighten up that clamp I believe it's the clamp that's loose we will see all right taking a peek underneath we have some really low hanging exhaust clamps here for the hangers and for those that have been scraping the ground already so we'll turn these around and flip them up get them uh out of the line of fire over here in a few minutes we have about another inch of ground clearance why when these guys put this exhaust on they face them down i have no idea it's the simple things that make your car run better you have a floppy sun visor that's what the rubber band is here for to hold it up. Let's see if we could tighten this up. This little clip you gotta pull off on here. Get that off. Pull out the clip and this whole assembly should just slide right out. There. What holds it? It's this plastic thing, but I thought he had a new one floating around. I can't find it. We're gonna try to uh, tighten up this one. There we got that piece out. A little white plastic piece, I guess it came apart in two pieces. We're gonna shove a little rubber O-ring 
on part of that to kind of give it a little more tension and push it back into place and see if that works. I ended up putting just a little piece of an O-ring in there because I couldn't get it to jam in there with the full O-ring, but that's uh, better than it was. Yeah, it's running much better. A bunch of stupid little problems and I'll make the car nicer to ride. Thanks for watching.